What's up everyone, this is Alitakis Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you this awesome application for your iOS device that will take your home screen and Siri shortcuts to the next level. So, let's get started. So I do just want to wish everyone a happy new year. It's been an amazing year for this channel, and I want to bring it to the next level this year. So I'm going to be showing you an awesome application that has so many cool features, folders, apps, shortcuts and things like that and on top of that you can implement your own Siri shortcuts. Now there are a bunch of paid features in this application but I found a way to get them for free. So I'll be showing you all of that as well because some of these features are like $40. It's kind of crazy. Maybe $25 but still it's a lot of money. So what's really cool is you can have these little folders that have shortcuts inside of them. You can go ahead and quickly send a gift to someone. You can look up a quick location. You can send a certain text message to a certain contact. You can do so much inside of this app. This app was actually around but way, way, way before Siri Shortcuts. And it's really cool to see it being updated. So what's cool about this is you can even launch your own web clip or link to a website. You can do a quick Google search. So there are just a lot of quick actions and toggles inside of this. And on top of that, there are so many cool features. For example, there is the ability to import your own Siri shortcuts, and there's a really cool widget that it has. So I'll be showing you all of that later. So if you do want to go ahead and have that night mode I was showing off in the video, it's called True Black. It's going to cost, I believe, $2. It's $1.99. But the way I got it for free was I actually downloaded the beta and the beta will actually let you test out any of the features now you will have to type in your apple id but it says it won't bill you so that's at least what it says i'm gonna wait until i see if i get it like a notification from apple saying that i've been billed but here's the pop-up i got when i tried to purchase something inside of the application when i was inside of the beta so you can see that it basically just says that i will not be billed during the beta testing stages so i recommend that maybe you just try it out for the remaining 80 or 100 days this app has in beta stages. All right, so taking a look at a few of the features that this application has, what's really cool is that you can use it as a home screen because you can lock your device and then unlock your device and it stays inside of this app. So you do not have to worry about having to switch constantly. And on top of that, it's got a really cool widget panel. So even if you don't want to use it as a home screen, you can just customize your own widgets if you so choose. So you can see that I've got a bunch of widgets here. I can change the size. You can add an application if you want. And on top of that, there are these quick actions as well. And basically the quick actions allow you to have, I guess, your own custom series shortcuts, but they're made throughout the application. So what's really cool is you can have series shortcuts as a widget and then you can create your own quick action. So you can go ahead and tap on the edit button at the very top and it will allow you to rearrange these little squares. You can delete an action or you could delete an app and then you can add a group which is basically a folder. As you can see the contacts, books, and search, those are groups and this will basically have a bunch of applications and shortcuts inside of it whenever you tap on it or you can choose an action and this will basically just launch an application or one individual shortcut. So this is pretty cool because you can add custom icons, you can go ahead and add any application you want or shortcut and this app has over I believe 100,000 supported apps so I believe this has pretty much every app that you would probably use on a daily basis. Worst case scenario, you just use Spotlight Search. So if you really want to import a Siri shortcut, go ahead and tap on the Siri shortcut icon when you're inside of the application and go ahead and install it. Now once you've done that, just launch that shortcut. It'll be the most recent one and you can select any shortcut that you want to have inside of that application. So once you've selected the shortcuts you want, go ahead and enter the app and then tap on add action. Then you'll have this screen where you can tap on any icon that you want to replace with this shortcut. So if you have a blank icon, it'll just add the shortcut there and you can launch the shortcut just by tapping on it. Now it is a little weird because you'll launch the shortcut and then it'll open up inside the shortcuts app. I believe that just should be fixed on Apple's part, but that's a security issue. I won't get into that in this video, but this app is totally fine. So the way I'm going to be using this is, I guess, as like a really cool custom home screen. But if you really don't like that idea, what you could do is just simply create really cool widgets and then have one icon on your dock like I made a few videos ago. And then you can just go ahead and have all your applications inside of one widget. So that's pretty cool. So you can see these are all the applications I have. You can add so many more. So I recommend you guys take advantage of this. There are so many features I didn't cover. I just wanted to show you guys this application and that it exists. So thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.